Starting with a completely bare face, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lace front wig. Now all I'm gonna do is glue down the wig with one piece of tape and then glue the sides down with some liquid glue. Now let's start but with some concealer. I'm just gonna conceal under the eyes and any other areas that might have some hyperpigmentation. This is actually a corrector. And now I'm using my Graftobian foundation in ginger and I'll go ahead and apply that with full coverage. I'm using a stencil just to get the primary shape of the brow. Now I will modify it to make it look the way I would like for it to look. Now I'm gonna take a brush and brush out the front and the tail of my brow just to extend it and get rid of that roundness. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some brow powder and extend it a little bit more. I know it seems like I'm defeating the purpose, but I need to go ahead and extend that so I can get the brow shape I want. Now taking my e.l.f. all over cover stick, I'm gonna go ahead and shape the brows to my liking. Now the brows are not exactly like the photo, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them as close as I can. I'm just blending it down and I'm also gonna take my finger and also blend out the concealer. And that's the finished eyebrow. Taking some gel liner, I'm gonna start creating the shape of my eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna just kinda wing out here and then I will apply the eyeliner as a base and start to blend that out gradually. Now take a really dark black matte shadow and I'm just going to place it on my eyelid and at the extension. After blending, I'm gonna go ahead and take a light brown eyeshadow and further blend it up because I need the colors to kind of fade upward. If you notice in the photo, there's like three different shades on the, on the Barbie's eyes and that's what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm also taking a coppery color and I'm gonna go ahead and use that as the last color at the top. Using a flat brush and then I will also blend that out as well. Now this look is not exactly like the photo. Again, this is my interpretation. And I made it work according to my eye shape and what looked best on me. Now I'm taking an e.l.f. cleansing wipe and I'm gonna just clean up that line just to give me the shape that I'm looking for. Clean up any other areas where you had fallout. I'm taking some concealer going underneath my eyes to so just kind of clean it up, even everything out using my e.l.f. angled contour brush. Take some cold liner, line your waterline. Then I took a detail brush and just kind of smudged it out. Going back into that copper color, I'm just gonna take some of that color right underneath the eyeliner. If you notice in the photo, she does have some of that bronzy copper underneath her eyes. Now it's time for the contact lenses. I'm using green, as you see her eyes are green in the photo. 
And there you have it. I got these from honeycolor.com. All the links will be in the description box. All right, so it's time for blush. I've already powdered my face. I'm using La Femme's Golden Sunset on the cheeks. And now I'm using a plum or a purple lip liner. You can use any one of your choosing. And now this is Revlon's Va Va Violet, just a deep purple lipstick. And I'm going on top of that with a lip, black lip gloss by NYX. Just to deepen the color because I don't want it to be too purple. And this is the final look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was very fun. Take care and God bless.